fantastic place to new because I'm going to show you how yes it's growing avocados in the ground and in containers actually if you follow this video the same principles apply for just about any type of fruit tree and you'll get lots of tips here so we're going to cover growing in the ground we're going to cover in containers potting mixes uh, different varieties uh, plenty of stuff to get you on the way for growing fabulous avocados at home in small space gardens yep we'll even talk about the big giant guys that grow to 20 feet plus but in these days and age normally we keep them only to about six foot high and there's good reason for that and I'm going to show you in the video so <laughs> let's get into it shall we The first year for your avocado trees you need to pick off all the flowers. The reason being is because they only are a grafted tree most of the time and you, they think they are actually the mature tree because the mature tree has been grafted onto a seedling down below. And we can look here, this is pretty much where the graft is here, where my finger is. Let me just get it on there, that's where the graft, you can see a V running down, they've done like a V. So this is actually a new part, a new seedling. You can see it's really green. And up here, this is an older part of the tree that was taken away from a mature tree that was already establishing fruit. When avocados start fruiting, they need to actually be shaded by the leaves. And if you've had a leaf drop such as I have, you may not have enough shade covering your small fruits. But as the season progresses on, these leaves will come out more and the fruits will get heavier and drop down below the leaves. So don't worry too much if you got a little bit of brown burn such as I have. This tree at the moment is about a metre and a half high, probably close to five feet if you stood it all up vertical. It only has about seven fruits on there. Now it's only going into its third year, so I'll possibly leave not that many on there, maybe four to five. But once this tree goes in the ground, I believe that I'll get at least 20 fruits in the next year, hopefully if I can find a, a better place where I can get it out of the container. This is my avocado tree growing here in a nice big container. You'll see the container uh, in the video. It shows you um, the draining section in there. If you look down below here in the hole, you can see here, this is where the water reservoir is. You can stick your finger in and check. If you're in a veranda such as me, this may spill out and go on to the neighbor's place. When growing dwarf avocado trees in pots, you need to choose the right variety for your area. So ask at your local nursery or go to a specialized fruit tree grower nearby. You want to purchase a grafted tree as this produces quicker fruit set. As you can get fruit within two to three years instead of five to seven years. You need to purchase both an A and B variety. You can get away with just one, but they perform better when they have the two varieties around them. So do your research and see if you can get A and B varieties for your area. This will provide better fruit growth and development. And to make sure that they fruit at different times, say you have fruit throughout the year and you're not getting all these massive bundle of fruit all at one time. I also recommend that you purchase from respected outlets and look for new nice green flush growth coming out of the tops and little buds forming, little unions forming buds and things for a nice healthy tree. Also, check at the graft, which is usually one third of the way up the trunk, to see if it's well taken and formed and has a nice looking swelling around the graft area and looks quite healthy and there's no disease in that graft section. What do you look for when you want to purchase a container for your grafted avocado tree? Well, you need to really get the biggest, best container you can, and something that holds around 100 litres or 35 gallons. 
is really recommended as these trees can grow very quickly and the root systems can expand quite quickly to feed the tree. So the bigger the root system that you have, uh, the more fruit that you can get onto your tree. I also recommend that you have a pot that is highly free draining. Don't use these big clay pots that have hardly any, any holes inside. If you are going to use one of those, you'll need to use uh, a special drill that will actually drill through ceramics such as a diamond drill and uh, that will drill more holes. You also need a nice big reservoir down the bottom to catch the water so if you're away at times then the avocado can still have a drink. As avocados are a surface feeder your container needs to be, have a, be quite wide at the top so the, the bigger the surface area, the more feeder roots you can have, the larger the tree. So the tree will actually spread out to the size of the width of the container. So yes, the bigger the container, the better. Just be careful though if you're on a veranda that's high up. You might need to check uh, the weight with um, the local councils or the owner of the building to make sure that you're following regulations. I'm bringing this part of this video to you from uh, the river over here on Tweed just because, well, this section I don't actually have a big massive avocado tree and I have to drive down the coast about 20 kilometres and pay money to get in to see it so um, I should have took video when I was down there last time of the avocado trees but anyway that's my fault I want to talk to you about large avocado trees see, the large avocado trees, well Basically, it's not really a point to having them anymore in the garden or even like on big farms and things because you've got to get up really high, 20, 30 feet with different poles and you've got to drive in tractors and all that type of stuff. And the idea is to keep your tree to a certain height, to around about six foot actually or a little bit higher where you can just get a ladder or a little long pole and just, and just grab them. See, the idea is to build a massive root system. The bigger the root system, well, the less you have to worry about watering over times. And there's one problem with dwarf trees in a small space garden, or a, a fair size just urban garden, is they don't produce a big, nice big root ball. They're designed to produce a small root ball. And the reason is because uh, people like to grow them in pots and containers. So we don't want that root ball getting too big. Oh, a bit of a wind coming through the northerly. Beautiful day here. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the video here. Now, what you need to do if you've got a fair bit of space is you need to plant your tree out and keep it like a Christmas tree shape. So the light's coming in all around from different angles and different sides. Now you want to get the biggest, most productive root system that you can. Basically, the width of the tree will be as far out as the roots go. So if your tree ends up being six foot wide, you're gonna have a six foot parameter of root growth. And that's where you wanna throw the mulch down because uh, avocado trees are a surface feeder. So the roots are on the top. So when you scratch away the mulch, you can actually see little white hairs. And if they're nice and white, and you can see them, they look really nice and clean. Well, that means that they're in very good health. So, there's some more tips for you about growing avocados and growing avocado trees and we're going to have more for you coming up soon. I'm just going to move to another spot. So in the video before in the last section we were talking about planting your avocado trees. Now, what you need to consider is, is avocados need super great drainage. Because they're a rainforest species, they're used to having this type of good drainage. And if they don't have good drainage, they come susceptible to all different types of root rot. And it's a nematode, a needleworm, that will attack the roots, it'll stunt the growth of the plant, and overall, it'll be very unproductive and you'll end up with fruits probably about this big, or maybe even smaller. Uh, they don't even taste that good, you know, I can go into the whole, the whole thing here. So, how do we prepare our hole? And how do we get it started to get a successful tree growing? Well, 
what I like to do, and I'm actually in this uh, apartment area here, and I'm not going to grow any avocado trees here because I don't plan on staying here for that long a time. But this is what I will do in the future when I do plant out the trees that are in the pots that you'll see later on in the video. I'm going to build a giant compost heap. Now it's going to be about one cubic meter square and so the reason you buy it build it that size is because it, that's the right uh, size mass for it to get hot and to break down quickly and underneath that I'm actually going to dig a hole about three foot deep and I'm going to throw gravel and sand right in the very bottom and then slowly fill it full of compost and I'm actually going to raise the bed above the ground also about two feet that way I end up with about five foot of soil profile. Now in the rainforest area and the places where avocados grow best, they have up to two meters of topsoil. That's amazing, isn't it? Yes, they grow up to two meters of topsoil in uh, around just the Byron Bay, Bangalore, that area. And I've seen it because I actually managed a small farm. Uh, we had about a hundred trees. And yeah, we grew in two meters of topsoil and had amazing growth. But it doesn't mean that you can't do it at home. So, remember what I said, dig your nice big hole, you want to go out at least uh, six feet wide and go about three feet deep. And put some type of drainage system at the bottom, so you can just use gravel and sand, that's, that's perfect, which would be about a foot deep. And then just start filling it with high organic matter because that's going to drain well and going to give it lots of food. So start off with a pile such as this one, with lots of compost lots of manure, green leaves, etc. And when you've finished uh, at the top, put your lighter material actually on the top because that's where the surface feeder roots are going to be because avocados mostly feed from the surface. When applying mulch to your avocado trees, there's something that you want to consider. You need to keep the mulch nice and light and fluffy. Now the reason being is you need the oxygen to get through that mulch and to break down accordingly and to build the microbes up in there. So it's a very good idea to use something like sugarcane, organic sugarcane or a straw, um, something like that. Avoid wood chip in the very beginning because it's more compact. It's actually great for using as a mulch when you're trying to build soil up in certain areas and then planting into it later. But for when you're first planting out, you're establishing your avocado, uh, avoid that type of mulch and go for the fluffy straw sugarcane type of mulch. Fertilizers for your avocado tree. Now, I always promote organic. I don't say that you should have to use organic, but keep in mind that when you're not using organic fertilizers, you're also supporting uh, big business for the petroleum companies and they basically own all the money in the world so you know um, there's more reasons to supporting organics than just using organics because of good health so I would recommend that you do use it for good health because you improve the soil you improve the soil structure over time and you don't have to keep throwing down inorganic fertilizers or petroleum based fertilizers so you would use um, a pellet style that actually comes in uh, chook manure and seaweed and blood and bone generally a three or five and one mix and throw it out anywhere between three and six times a year so what I recommend is that you throw it out at the beginning of the season and at the end of the season all year round also for fertilizers when you're planting out you want to use something like a liquid fertilizer and or a compost tea brew to actually just uh, slow down the shock of the transplant and even soak it in some seaweed fertilizer before you plant and make sure when you plant that put that hole in that if it's in a clay soil that you don't actually like pan the sides so that's like um, keep the sides light and fluffy because if you actually create like a slide where down the side where it actually makes it look like just a pot the roots are going to get pot bound so you want to keep the sides and the edges fluffy so the roots can move out if you know what I mean, like when you put a shovel down the side of a, a clay bed, it'll form like a clay soft hard edge and that will actually compact in the soil and make a hard edge so the roots can't get through it. So keep it all nice and fluffy on the edges.
I really hope you enjoyed that last video and got some great tips out of there for growing your avocados in containers or in the ground or even going for the big large I put the word huge ones they grow monstrous actually there's no reason for doing that and you would have learnt why in the show that we uh, that we just taught you in. Anyway, look guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you can learn more. Support me so I can also support myself and my daughter. And we can bring you more little scenes just like this down on this beautiful little secret Gold Coast beach. Okay guys, happy gardening. We'll see you soon. I love you all. Bye.